So I lost sleep last night looking for a 4070 Ti. I came to realize after talking through the chat with the online YouTube restockers that the 4070 is majorly underpowered for the value of money you're going to get of yield. Uh, I believe so I basically spoke to them for about four to five hours in the chat. And luckily, I'm to the conclusion that getting another 12 gigabyte card, getting a card that performs similar to a 3090, probably wasn't ideally the best resource money investment. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to consider going with a 4080 graphics card from NVIDIA. A guy in the chat actually came in at about 3 or 4 a.m. last night while I was losing copious amounts of sleep. And he suggested, hey man, I just picked me up a 4080 Founders Edition from Best Buy and I applied this coupon. And he gave me the coupon code, which I will put in the description of this video. And that enabled me to get a $120 discount on a 4080 brand new from Best Buy, which I thought was incredible value. I thought that's pretty decent. Yeah, the, the GPU is still heavily priced. I mean, I think that GPU is probably like 900 to 1,000 tops. But I mean, I got it for just over a grand, like 1,170, including tax. Um, so I think that's a fair, decent value for money. The 4090 was sitting about 1500, 1600 plus tax. And for me, and you can't even get them either, even if you wanted to get one. They just rarely drop. So the 4080 was very accessible early in the morning where most people were sleeping. The majority of people were sleeping. So I did pick it up. And it. I'm going to be picking it up in about two weeks, people. Um, I will be installing it into the system. I'll do an unboxing first. I'll, I'll install it into the system and I'll show you guys the frame rates, the DLS S3, the ray tracing, like all the new goodies on it. And then uh, you guys can really, you know, see the difference it makes and see if it's worthy or worth your time and money to go ahead and cough up some cash and get one for yourself. I mean, they do have financing options uh, through Best Buy. I think it's like 50 to $60 a month or something like that. And you can get yourself a GPU, which is pretty decent. I think it might even be 100 It depends on what you want to do, 12 months of payments or whatever. For me, I used a Best Buy credit card, applied the discount, and then um, I used, uh, I'm going to pay it off as soon as I receive the product. The whole balance will be paid off. I'm not going to do the monthlies. But some people might want to do that option. You know, it's 0% interest. That's pretty good. As long as you keep your payments, you don't miss a payment and all that, and you pay it on time, and it's pretty good. All right, people, thank you for showing up. If you are new, subscribe. I talk about gaming stuff, like PCs, consoles, games, hardware, yaddy daddy daddy. I'm just a genuine kind of YouTuber. You know, I'm not coming from a tech background. I'm not coming from a lot of college. I've taken some basic classes at college for IT and computing. But, you know, I'm just a genuine kind of person. So if you're kind of like me, a casual kind of gamer, and you like to game and you like to, you know, kind of modify your PCs and, you know, you love new things, then yeah, subscribe. And drop the like and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video. And let me know how you have been um, treated in the GPU space and upgrading this year for 2023 uh, when your 2022 might have been outdated and you want to upgrade to, you know, more frames, better quality resolutions. Uh, say you want to go to 1440p 4K, but you want fast frame rates with ray tracing and DLSS and fancy dancy reflections. Uh, then, yeah. All right, people, thank you for showing up. Bye-bye-bye. Talk to you in the next one.